Imagine walking through the bustling marketplaces of ancient Memphis. Merchants hawk their wares, chariots clatter over cobblestones, and the air hums with a symphony of unfamiliar sounds. For centuries the voices of the ancient Egyptians remained silent, locked away within the intricate symbols of their hieroglyphic writing system. How did the ancient Egyptians pronounce these sacred symbols? Thanks to the tireless efforts of linguists, archaeologists, and historians, we are now beginning to unlock the secrets of this ancient language. Join us as we embark on a journey through time, exploring the fascinating world of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs and the quest to uncover the sounds of this ancient language. Hieroglyphics, the ancient Egyptian writing system, have captivated the imaginations of people for millennia. These intricate symbols, often depicting recognizable objects from the natural world, seem to offer a glimpse into the minds of the people who created them. But hieroglyphs are more than just pretty pictures. They are a complex and sophisticated system of writing that encoded the spoken language of ancient Egypt. Some hieroglyphs represent entire words or concepts, while others function as phonetic symbols, representing specific consonants or vowels. Ancient Egyptian scribes often employed a principle known as the rebus principle, using images to represent sounds rather than their literal meanings. For example, the hieroglyph for mouth, pronounced ro, could also be used to represent the sound ro in other words. By identifying these phonetic clues and comparing them to related languages, such as Coptic, scholars have been able to piece together a reasonably accurate understanding of how ancient Egyptian was pronounced. For centuries, the secrets of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs remained elusive, their meanings lost to time. Then, in 1799, a chance discovery in the Egyptian port city of Rosetta would change the course of history. French soldiers unearthed a large stone slab inscribed with three different scripts, Greek, Demotic, and Hieroglyphic. The Rosetta Stone proved to be the key to unlocking the mysteries of ancient Egyptian writing. Since Greek was already well understood, it provided a crucial Rosetta Stone for deciphering the other two scripts. One of the key figures in this endeavor was Jean-Francois Champollion, a French philologist with a passion for ancient languages. Champollion realized that the hieroglyphic inscription contained phonetic elements, including the names of Ptolemy and Cleopatra, which he was able to identify by comparing them to the Greek text. The Rosetta Stone, now housed in the British Museum, stands as a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the enduring legacy of ancient Egypt. Deciphering the phonetic values of hieroglyphs has been a complex and multifaceted process. Scholars have identified several categories of phonetic hieroglyphs including uniliterals, biliterals, and triliterals. Uniliterals represent a single consonant sound, while biliterals and triliterals represent two or three consonant sounds respectively. Vowels, unfortunately, were not typically written in hieroglyphs, making it more challenging to reconstruct the exact pronunciation of ancient Egyptian words. By studying the grammar and syntax of ancient Egyptian texts, they have been able to identify patterns in the use of phonetic hieroglyphs. Comparative linguistics, which involves comparing related languages, has also provided valuable insights into the likely pronunciation of ancient Egyptian words. Archaeological evidence, such as inscriptions containing foreign names or words, has also provided valuable clues to the pronunciation of specific hieroglyphs. Reconstructing the sounds of ancient Egyptian has been a long and challenging but ultimately rewarding endeavor. Through the painstaking work of countless scholars, we are now able to hear, at least in approximation, the language that once echoed through the temples, palaces, and marketplaces of ancient Egypt. Imagine the sonorous chants of priests reciting prayers, the lively banter of merchants, and the gentle whispers of lovers. One of the most striking features of reconstructed ancient Egyptian is its emphasis on consonants. With its abundance of guttural sounds and lack of vowels in written form, ancient Egyptian likely had a harsh and somewhat staccato quality to modern ears. However, it is important to remember that our perception of sounds is subjective and culturally conditioned. By immersing ourselves in the reconstructed sounds of ancient Egyptian, we can begin to appreciate the beauty and complexity of this ancient language on its own terms. Comparing the reconstructed sounds of ancient Egyptian to modern languages provides fascinating insights into the evolution of language over time. While ancient Egyptian is no longer spoken, its descendants, such as Coptic, offer tantalizing clues to the sounds of its ancestor. By studying Coptic, 
we can gain a better understanding of how ancient Egyptian words were likely pronounced, as well as how the language changed over time. For example, the ancient Egyptian word for king, written as NSW in hieroglyphs, is pronounced Nesu in reconstructed ancient Egyptian. In Coptic the word for king is Niu, which clearly demonstrates the evolution of the word's pronunciation over time. These types of comparisons not only shed light on the evolution of ancient Egyptian, but also highlight the interconnectedness of languages. Understanding how ancient Egyptian sounded is about far more than just satisfying our curiosity about the past. It has the power to fundamentally change our understanding of ancient Egyptian culture, beliefs, and worldview. When we hear the words and sounds that were once an integral part of their daily lives, the ancient Egyptians become more than just names in history books or figures frozen in time on tomb walls. Consider the impact of hearing ancient Egyptian poetry recited aloud, feeling the rhythm and cadence of the language washing over you. The experience transcends the limitations of written text, engaging our auditory senses and transporting us back in time. The sounds of ancient Egyptian also provide valuable insights into aspects of their culture that might otherwise remain hidden from view. The quest to uncover the sounds of ancient Egypt is far from over. Advances in technology such as acoustic modeling and artificial intelligence are now being applied to the study of ancient languages. Researchers are using acoustic modeling software to simulate the acoustics of ancient Egyptian temples and tombs, allowing them to hear how sounds would have reverberated in these spaces. Artificial intelligence is also being used to analyze large corpora of ancient Egyptian texts identifying patterns and anomalies that might escape the human eye. These analyses are helping scholars to refine their understanding of ancient Egyptian grammar and syntax, which in turn contributes to more accurate reconstructions of ancient Egyptian pronunciation. The future of ancient Egyptian language research is bright, with interdisciplinary collaborations and technological advancements paving the way for groundbreaking discoveries. The journey to uncover the sounds of ancient Egyptian has been a testament to human curiosity, ingenuity, and our enduring fascination with the past. From the deciphering of hieroglyphs to the reconstruction of ancient Egyptian pronunciation, each step has brought us closer to understanding the voices of a civilization that flourished over 3,000 years ago. While our understanding of ancient Egyptian pronunciation remains incomplete, the progress made in recent decades is nothing short of remarkable. The sounds of ancient Egyptian, once lost to time, are now being brought back to life, enriching our understanding of this ancient culture and connecting us to the past in a profound and personal way. As we continue to listen to the voices of the past, we open ourselves up to a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the grand tapestry of human history.